Hello everyone! I'm guessing you're watching this video to get an idea about the Great Ocean Road in Victoria, Australia. Well in this video I'm going to show you my experiences of the Great Ocean Road. The Great Ocean Road sits just west of Melbourne along this wild coastline which has lots of limestone rock formations off the coast. So now I'll show you a few lovely places along the Great Ocean Road which we visited. We began our trip driving Melbourne to Geelong. Geelong is quite a seaside town. On our first night we stayed at a holiday park near Raff's Beach near the Barwon River mouth. The next day we drove to Torquay the first place we visited in Torquay was the Mosaic Torquay Sundial, which was designed by Claire Gitting and Glenn Romanus. The sundial was illustrated with moon phases, star constellations and colourful native animals. These illustrations are said to reflect Aboriginal dreaming stories of the geographical area, such as Mindy, who is a watchful snake. The second place we saw in Torquay was Bird Rock Lookout, and a little bit before the Great Ocean Road we saw Split Point Lighthouse. So now we are driving the Great Ocean Road. The first place we visited on this road was Teddy's Lookout. It had some nice tracks going down the hill through native trees like eucalyptus. And it was quite a beautiful lookout. I also saw this friendly magpie which was fossicking for food. Also in Lawn, I saw these summery sculptures of two women. So here we are in Kennet River. It's a small seaside town with a eucalyptus forest and is populated by parakeets. We even saw a koala high up in one of the eucalyptus trees. Back on the road again to high up roads and great lookouts over the coastline. We got to the Great Otway National Park, a native forest. Here is a cute pair of cockatoo we spotted. We stayed the next night in Princetown, which sits beside a large wetland. The next day we got to Gibson Steep, which is quite close to the Twelve Apostles. This place has two rock formations off the wild cliffy shores. And here is the Twelve Apostles. It's pretty popular. So these peculiar limestone formations are actually slowly fading into the sea because the violent sea eats away at the frail limestones. Here 
is Razorbeck. This seems to be quite a thin rock formation and has a sort of jagged top to it. Another popular place was Lockhart Gorge. We walked down the stairs to a cliffy area. At the bottom I saw these stalactite limestone caves. And then a hidden beach. We also saw Mutton Birds Island. Driving west we got to the baker's oven featuring a lone rock formation with a hole in its centre. And here is a viewpoint of baker's oven from Gordy's Trek. We then drove through Port Campbell which is a small town and it has a few holiday parks, hotels and things like that. So it's quite a good stopping point. The next place we saw was the grotto which was reasonably popular. It had a really beautiful lookout and at the bottom it had this arch and through the arch you could see a lovely large rock pool. We then got to the Bay of Islands and the place we saw was Boat Bay. We drove inland from Port Campbell. and got to Lake Karangamite, which is a volcanic salt lake and interestingly was popular in the 1950s as a swimming hole. We then drove up the road to the volcanic crater called Red Rock and in the distance I saw Lake Karangamite. One of the main nearby towns is Biak, which has a population of 360 people. And at the other end of the town, there's this pretty red brick church. We then kept driving towards the north and we got to Ballarat. We were only there a couple of hours, so we decided to visit the botanical gardens. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing along the Great Ocean Road and I hope you get the chance to visit there sometime soon. Thanks. Bye.